This is Marine Radio Correspondent Corporal Roger K. Lund speaking from somewhere in the Pacific. Corporal Bernard P. Maxwell, U.S. Marine Corps Reserve of Freeland, Michigan, has completed 26 months of service overseas, all of which has been spent with the 1st Division. At Cape Gloucester, December 29, 1943, he participated in three engagements. September 15, 1944, he was with the first wave of the assault troops that invaded the island of Tellaloo, and for his courageous and heroic achievement in action, was awarded the Bronze Star. April 1st, he was again with the first wave of assault troops that invaded the island of Okinawa. Now, with more than enough time to be eligible to return to the United States, Corporal Maxwell is standing by awaiting transfer back to the USA, behind him a glowing record of duty to his country. 26 months of hard work, dangerous days, and fear-filled nights, he now can look forward to that day when he will again be back home. Bernie, when did you first decide to join the Marine Corps? When I was about 15 years old, Raj, but my folks wouldn't sign for me. So I had to wait until I was 17, and I joined December the 11th, 1942. And how soon was it after you came out of boot camp that you went overseas? Approximately four months. Immediately after boot camp, I was put in the paratroopers. From there, I was sent to the 16th Replacement Battalion and was shipped overseas with that outfit the 18th of April in 43. Uh, it was at Cape Gloucester that you received your baptism of fire, is that right? That's right, Raj. I was in three major engagements on Cape Gloucester. I landed there December the 29th, 1943. For your work on the island of Peleliu, you were awarded the Bronze Star. I know that it's hard to try and talk about something heroic that you yourself have done, but how about giving us some idea of just what you were doing during the period of time for which you received the citation? Well, we got ashore meeting pretty heavy opposition and, and secured our beachhead. The Japs were laying in lots of mortars artillery. And about 10 o'clock that night, I found two wounded men on the way back to the, delivering a message to the company CP. And I took one back with me, and after delivering my message, I returned for the other one. I, I administered first aid to both of them, gave one, uh, one blood plasma. Then I guided tanks and supporting weapons to the front line. Going in with the assault troops at Okinawa, did you run into any opposition such as I know you ran into on Peleliu? No, Raj, we landed without any opposition whatsoever. Our mission was to drive across the island to split the Jap forces in two then the army to swing south and the marines north. I was, I was injured when I fell off my cliff there the third day, spraining an ankle and hurting my, le uh, my left leg. The weather was swell. I was evacuated then to the United uh, USS Comfort and then to the uh, hospital on this island. In your 26 months overseas, Bernie, you certainly have had your share of action, excitement, and days when you rather wondered if you would be around the next day to see the sunrise. But now I know you are looking anxiously toward that day when you will be back home. How about saying a few words to those people who are waiting just as anxiously to see you? I'd like to send my love to Mom and Dad, Nettie Merle. That's about all. That was Corporal Bernard P. Maxwell, U.S. Marine Corps Reserve of Freeland, Michigan. This is Corporal Roger K. Lund of the U.S. Marine Corps.